What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Death Road to Canada with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony. This is Death Road to Canada, and we're continuing our Keppa mode run. Uh, sans Keppa and Sans any good combatiers. This is good. Eat and rest. Cool. Okay. Oof. We're fully healed, which is a positive, but still don't have anyone to fight with. Strange vending machine. Um, we have good guns. We don't really need the food. Let's get a new hat. Warning, this will be a very annoying process. You know what, I think Tim can handle it. His morale decreases, but then he puts the hat on and his morale goes back up. That's pretty nice. Shot placement is crucial for making our ammo last. Unfortunately, x was probably the best, or not x <laughs> Kappa was probably the best for that. Um, I don't want either of these. We're gonna go to the coffee shop though. Tim will be able to repair the coffee maker. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we have no pistol ammo. Wow. Okay. We might find some, so I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to put these in this order. We can't really use the cav cavalry sab saber, which is a cavalry saber, which is a tongue twister and apparently what that thing is called. Let's do this. Oof. It's boogie. And I'm going to switch to Tim. Like, the reason I say I, that we can't use it is because we're not very strong or fit. Obviously, we are physically capable of using it, just not well. We're gonna repair this. Okay. We got the dexterity boost. We're a little bit faster. Tim solo missions might be a reasonable strategy at this point. Nothing. Here we go. Ooh, two. Not too shabby. Oh, should have waited. Let's get out of here. Throw that. We actually broke another chair with our chair. We did some damage, too. If only we could close the doors leaving buildings. Ooh, definitely need more food. We're running so low. Um, I'm gonna knock these down. I want to move this couch to block zombies coming in. There we go. We actually just pushed them out of the building, which I didn't know was possible. That was pretty cool. I I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, just really good aim. All right. Wow. He's not strong enough to even kill zombies uh, reliably with the saber. Sometimes he just knocks him down. Keppel was like immediately killing like three zombies in a single swipe with that. Plus we had just boosted his fitness. I can't believe I let him die. That's pretty bad. Get out of here. What are you doing? Okay, I guess that's it. Get out of this building. We're strong enough to lift that couch? How did Tim's strength go so high? I don't... Is that from being coffeeed up? He's temporarily coffeeed up. He's also permanently dexterity. But... I don't think we're gonna have this type of strength for very long, which kind of sucks. But we might as well use it while it lasts. Apparently the uh, knocking down was just a coincidence and he's actually pretty good right now. Not good enough to lift a fridge, unfortunately. I wonder how good <laughs> TLB would be if he got all coffeeed up. Probably not much better than he is. 
Next turn, I think it's going to be a good idea to swap out your purse for this hatchet. And then we're controlling Tim again because he's so dang good. <clears throat> we went this way. Yeah. All right. Actually getting a decent amount of loot here. I mean, the dexterity boost is why we came, but the loot is a nice addition. We've got so much healing going on. We've got 20-something, 20 24 medical supplies, and two cans of algae spray with two charges each, which are the equivalent of however many medical supplies it takes to heal us one health. And we can use them mid anything. Um, the downside to them is that you do need to have an opportunity to use them. And you can't use them in place of medical supplies, but we have so many medical supplies that that negative doesn't really matter. We need to use the strength while we have it. We don't know our fitness, but we might as well carry stuff around. I'm assuming our fitness is pretty high as well. Yeah, we definitely weren't swinging this well when we got in here. Oh, crap. <laughs> Let's carry this out. And throw it and get back to the car. I think we're all set here. You don't need to be doing that. We're safe. Oh, I can't. I'm too far away to swap our weapons out. Oh, this one actually only has one charge. So we have three algae spray charges across two cans of it. We're done here. I'm going to have some coffee myself. Loot-wise, we were doing pretty incredibly. Gas-wise, we could definitely use a little bit more. No food, what are you talking about? Can shooting practice, we're going to not take the hit to morale. Wait, yeah, his strength is frowny again. Oh well, I, I knew that was gonna happen, or at least I was pretty dang sure. Huh, burning house. Junkyard with car. The burning house is a new thing in the update. It's dangerous. And I don't want to do it. We're going to get a new car instead. Um, we'll do one eventually. Someday we will, you know, go there. I wish we could stack these, put them in the same can. That would have been pretty nice. Nope. All right. Um, what are you doing? Switch those. Okay, we're ready to go. Yeah, our car is definitely not in good enough condition to keep. I think this was a good choice. Otherwise, we definitely would have taken some damage. I mean, I know we have a lot of healing items, and I just kind of explained that at length, but probably could have died. Hit the chassis there, which is not good. I need to get in this building, though. I might not need to. I'm going to want to either way. We're going to look up here for the keys first, and then come back. Oh, they're actually right up here. We're going to go in for loot anyway. There's probably gas. I'm a little upset that I damaged the chassis. It was stupid. Ah, let me out. There we go. Oof. There's a way across. Not for Xarn, though. Come up this way. I gotcha. Okay. I had to put myself in a bit of danger to actually rescue her from bad pathfinding. But I think we'll be fine. Come on. Come this way. My goodness. I want to keep looting, but now it's super crowded thanks to her. All right. 
Boom. Let's not worry about that corner up there and just go indoors for two seconds. Oh crap, I hit the car again. Here we go. We need more gasoline. We're really short on gasoline and this car uses a lot. Plus we got a magazine. It's gonna boost our shooting. I don't particularly care about that. Let's get in. We might have missed out on some gas, but we gotta get out of here, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think we have enough for like one trip. Who gets this? I guess Tim. All right. Uh-oh. Choose your fate. We actually didn't get a chance to choose anything. Tim meets another survivor who rants about seeing an older bodybuilder, blah, blah, blah. And we got strength training. Okay. And out of gas. So we ended, we ended up on foot anyway. Oh. Two meals, fine. We have enough food. Oh my God. That hit to morale is gonna be really bad. But we got a new car. It's the same car we had. And morale went up a little bit because of it. We're going to plan out tomorrow. Tim's morale is back up at max. Well, neutral, but his max. Not hard to get there. Dog recruitment? Um. Yeah, it's an extra character in our party. Exorn comes to the rescue. I thought that this option would have been in this spot and when I saw this option instead, I was thinking it wasn't there. Did they change these indicators? They look different, right? All right. Loyalty revealed as good. Morale goes up. We're back in a pretty good position. We're not on foot anymore. We don't have a lot of gas, but we, we're using it pretty slowly. I'm gonna do this. We're getting a lot of these and I'm liking it. The group runs into a house at the end of a cul-de-sac. It radiates an overwhelming sense of dread and malice. There might be a can of food inside. Okay, sardine packed, but sluggish. It's late morning. We're going to investigate the house. We don't have a lot of ammunition. So we're actually gonna take a shotgun instead of the uh, Uzi. Might be a good idea to bring some ouchie spray. And Kip needs nothing. All right. Yeah, let's do this. He can't swing fast, but luckily, they're clumped together in such a way that our infrequent swings work pretty well. It's really dark for the time of day it is. I think we've actually done this encounter before. It's not new in the update, but it is only the second time I recall doing it. And I could be wrong. It could be the first time and maybe it is new in the update, but we did something similar. There should be like, some sort of altar or something here. So maybe we've done this twice. Come on. I need to bunch like four of them together. This'll do. All right. We've cleared enough of them to go into the first room. Yeah. Before they start spawning, we're going to keep exploring. Close that. I want to clear out this room because there are quite a few of them in here. Someone kill this. Thank you. Don't want to waste a swing. Want to get our stamina up there. Where we can actually do some damage in a room like this. Nothing in here, but same strategy. We want to clear every room so that when we're fighting our way to the exit at the end, we don't have to worry about them coming from other directions as well. One more, there we go. 
There was like no loot in here. A couple crappy weapons. Just some ammo. A shotgun as well that I'm not gonna take. Cause we have one. That was a waste of a swing, but no big deal. Nice, I thought I only hit two there. And then we got the third at the last second. Close this just in case. All right, let's go down. Not a lot of loot in this place. It did say there might be a can of food. So there's that, but there should be an altar. And an, the altar will alter one of us. That wasn't an intentional pun, but I did notice it before I said it out loud. Oh, crap. Get out of there. And get in and swing. Okay, we only hit two. And we only killed one. There we go. That was a little bit better. Still not great. Crowbar time. Starting to get a little bit more pistol ammo. For future encounters. Not much. But some. We're gonna need a lot to make the Uzi worth using. Here we go. All right, sacrificial altar. Tim stands near a stone altar. It must be a, the source of the ominous feeling coming from this entire place. The altar seems extremely dangerous. It's a bit weird that someone would have this in their house. It probably shouldn't be messed with. Leave the altar alone for now. I'm actually going to have Kip do it. I want to see what it does to a dog. I don't know why his claw is yellow. Is that normal? It might be new in the update. Spine. Ooh. All right, let's do this. Have Kip touch the altar. Kip touches the altar is instantly blasted by strange energies. Kip is hurt, Kip is killed. For his sacrifice, the altar bestows a gift. In the distance, a spooky goblin laughs in a goblin-like fashion. Okay. Was the gift really just 50 pistol ammo? Because that wasn't worth it. Oh, and a, a, a new gun. Um, still not really worth it. We'll take that over the uh, crowbar, I suppose. But everything else we need to keep. As a group of two, we don't really have a whole lot of spare inventory space, which I'd like to change, but like the dogs don't really help that because they can't carry things and fight at the same time. Not a good idea. X aren't. Grocery trust exercise. I think either person, but we're gonna send Tim in. Nice. Staying above 50 food is definitely good for our trading capability. Choose your fate. We really can't jump it in this car. We're gonna take a detour. It barely used any gas. It did use all of our gas, but that's barely any. And we're on foot again. Eggs aren't expected this. Keeping us alive. She got hurt, but no big deal. Bottomless pit, that's a big deal. We're gonna, like every time we start to get a small surplus of ammo, we lose it. I think we kind of got to stick with this, this uh, setup here, unfortunately. Let's do it. Unfortunately, because it gives us no empty inventory slots. Luckily, this is one of the easier car encounters because they can't spawn from the sides. We kind of just want to work our way down the tunnel. This is another new song. I don't know if it's one we've already heard or not, but it's new to the update at the very least, even if it isn't new to us. I actually, like, in the year that I've been playing this game, have not even begun to find the music monotonous. And now that there's new music, I'll be, I'll feel even better about it. Like, I, I've still been enjoying the music in the background. 
I assume there are some people that found it annoying or just repetitive, but I am not among them. I know that initially I thought the music was very against the tone of the game, and I realize now how wrong I was. I realized a long time ago how wrong I was. XR, no! <laughs> the sword is pretty good. It gets us into situations like that, but it also gets us out of it. And if we had a better person for fighting. Also, it's really dark in here. I should have brought a flashlight. But this is also new. Like, it never used to get this dark here. So how was I supposed to know that? Oh, crap. Okay, we need to get to the car without damaging it, which is very difficult with this weapon. Okay, we're in. And we're gonna bounce. All right. Whew. And that is all for now. But thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next episode.